am Ali. Today I'm going to read you a story called Say Princess Pearl. Are you ready to listen? Okay, I'm going to read you the story. Say Princess Pearl. Pearl was a princess in a coloring book that belonged to a little girl called Emily. Emily told Pearl, I'm going to color you one last. I want you to be very beautiful when you go to the ball. Just then, Emily's mother came in. Come on, it's time to go, she said. Coming, mommy, answered Emily. She got up and forward forward her mom. She left all her things scattered across the table. She didn't even stop to put the tops back on her felt tip pants. Princess Pearl called out, Then go, you haven't colored in my dress. I can't go to the ball like that this, but Emily didn't hear her. She walked out and shut the door. Slam! A moment later, the house was empty. Princess Pearl said to herself, Emily has gone, so I'll have to color myself with my own. She hopped out of the book. Pearl tried to pick up Emily's gold felt tip pan, but it was very heavy. It slipped out her hands and made splotches on her dress and arms. When Princess Pearl stumbled backward and knocked over a pot of glue, uh-oh, she slipped and fell and was covered in sticky stuff. And suddenly a wind blew. The wind gustled through the room. Whoosh! It was like a hurricane. And Princess Pearl didn't get blown away because her feet were, were stuck to the table. But the pages of the coloring book fluttered and flapped and waved. At last, the wind stopped blowing, the pages stopped moving. Princess Pearl couldn't see the page she had stepped on. There was no ballroom and no orchestra, but she could hear something. She leaned over the coloring books and saw a knight. The knight sat on his horse, playing a guitar and singing softly. My name is Blaine. I've been badly colored in. Emily scribbled on me when she was only tiny. I'm looking for a princess who will always stand by me. Pearl managed to pull, managed to pull her feet out of the glue and step into the drawing. Hello, she said. Flynn knelt down in front of the princess. I'm at your service, my lady, he said. He kissed her hand, and his lips turned golden. Pearl laughed. I used a felt tip pen to color myself in, she said. But the color hasn't dried yet. Who are you? I asked Flynn. I'm Princess Pearl. I want to go to the ball, but the wind turned my page and now I'm lost. Suddenly, the pages of the book started flapping again. A knobbly hand with fierce paws and came an ugly green, ha- green head with point- pointy teeth. Pointy teeth was an o- ogre from another page. Get get back, ogre, shouted Flynn. Mm, wait. When wishing to help the pearl, the ogre t- tied Pearl's feet together. You're all sticky, he grumbled. Yup, that's not very tasty. He jumped out of the bed page and came back moments later with some pencil sharpenings and some eraser dust. There, said the ogre thing. Now I'm going to gobble you up. Hey, you, shouted Flynn. Nobody's going to gobble her up. The ogre put his huge face close to pearls. He was about to swallow her. Just then, the prince had an idea. Splash, splash, what was Flynn, Flynn doing in the meantime? He had grabbed a pencil and jumped on his horse. He had an idea, too. Flynn galloped toward the ogre as fast as he could. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop, clippity-clop. He attacked the ogre with the pencil. Ah, the ogre fell to the ground. Hooray, we... Well done, Flynn. Flynn, you saved me, said Pearl, her eyes shining brightly. That's what knights do, said Flynn, untying her feet. Even ones that are badly colored in. I don't care about that, and I'm not colored in at all. But you are the most beautiful pearly princess I have ever seen, said Flynn. Suddenly they heard voices. Hello, hello, anyone here? Look, said Pearl, it's the musicians from the ball. Come on, Flynn, let's go.
let's dance. Carla and Flynn stepped into the middle of the ballroom and began to twirl around and round. The end. Well, I guess Princess Pearl is not colored in and and the little knight Flynn is colored badly in. I think I think they're kind together. I think they do. No. I think I think sometimes or they're not colored in or just scribbled in. I think they could be great friends. Again okay, today I read your book called Princess Pearl. Okay, thank you for seeing this video. Bye!